Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we have a little bit of a different video and it is my empty. So we're approximately a quarter through the year. So I thought uh, that came out funny, but a quarter of the way through the year. So I thought I would just update you on things I've been using as well as a couple of things I am decluttering. <music> Starting off with skincare. So the first thing that I have as an empty is this Sorbet Salon Skin Specialist Care 3 in 1 Cleansing Oil. So that's what it looks like. And this is what I use to take my makeup off as my first step in my two step cleansing routine. So I go in with this, it's just an oil. It smells really nice, but it, it's the components really faulty. It like comes out the side, but it's really good for taking off your makeup, especially if you're wearing waterproof mascara or eyeliner. It helps with that so, so much. And I've really, really loved this. I've already bought my second bottle. So this is about 150 Rand at clicks and it's really, really good. And I'd recommend, I know that the Pons cleansing balm is quite popular at the moment but I've never seen anyone talk about this and this is really good and I prefer an oil to a balm just because the balm can be a little bit more abrasive and this is quite smooth going over the skin the only other thing that I do not like about this product is when you wash it off in the sink like the oil clings to the bottom of the sink so you have to scrub it out afterwards even though I use warm water to take it off but I go in with this cleanse my face wipe it off. I don't rinse it off because obviously water and oil. So I have like a little makeup removing sponge, take that off and then I go in with my face wash and then the rest of my skincare routine. So this has been really, really good and I really, really love it. I've been hanging on to it for a while so I could show you guys. And then the second skincare item we have is this Essence Fresh and Fit Vitamin Balm Face Serum with Vitamin, vitamin, vitamin B5 and niacinamide. So this one looks like that. And it's weird because there's like some sediment that's like settled at the bottom. I have no idea why, but this took me about, I got it in October, I want to say October, November, December, January, February. It took me about four months to finish, but I really, really did like this and I miss it in my routine, but I am currently working through my, the Incalist Niacinamide Serum. So I am not going to repurchase until that other one is finished. I just don't like skincare hanging around for too, too long. Yeah, I really, really like this. Um, the smell was a little bit gross, but the texture was really nice and it got a bit tacky. So under makeup, it worked super well. So I would definitely recommend this. I know they have a, diff a kind of different like scents. I want to say flavors, I always do, but they have like a blueberry one and a couple of others. So yeah, I, I think go try it out if you like this sort of thing. Sorry about my nails. My nails popped off last night. But anyway, the last little skincare thing I have is just a sample of a year and it is the Clarence Lift, Lift a Fine Visage. Oh no, that's the French one. Hang on. It is the Shaping Face Lift Total V Contouring Serum. I got this as like, not as, but uh, on one of the vessels I was working on, they were just giving these away because someone got it from a supplier. So they gave a bunch of them away and I've used this up. I really did like it as well. The smell was a little bit overpowering. It is very perfumed as most high-end products are, but it was all right. It was nice. Like I used it um, on nights that I wasn't using my other serums because I like to rotate my skincare. Like sometimes I use witch hazel, sometimes I use niacinamide and just depending on what, how my skin is feeling. So this went pretty quick. It, it was only a sample, but at the same time it lasted quite long for a sample. But yeah, really like this. Um, I would not repurchase. <laughs> it is Clarence. So, but I really did like using it and trying it out, but this is another empty. And that's all we have in our skincare category. Next, let's move into makeup. So my first makeup empty is the MOD makeup, makeup finishing spray. 
and it looks like this. This was only like 80 Rand at Discam and it wasn't that good if I'm going to be honest. It left my skin really, really tacky and it also stung my skin a little bit. So I would use this as more of like in between my makeup steps rather than to lock it in. I just used it to melt my makeup together and then patted it out with a damp sponge. But I also got this in October and so it took me about four months to finish, but I do go through setting sprays quite quickly because I use quite a bit because of my combo skin and I get quite oily like I only did my makeup about an hour ago and I'm already getting all oily but yeah it was okay I mean if you're looking for something affordable you can try it out I think it is more portable than even essence is so yeah it was all right I would not repurchase this honestly but definitely was worth a try and it extended the use of my other setting sprays that I use. Next we have this oops, collection lasting perfection sheer loose powder and I had this in my project pan about no it was last year and I think I was using it into this year as well but yeah I finished it I really did like this powder I would repurchase it if I went back to the UK but for now I'm using my other stuff but yeah I really did like it and it lasted me about a year maybe a year and a bit so yeah and then from this year's project pan which you'll probably see in a, another video I finished my uh, mode elite compact powder and the lid broke but that is another empty so happy with that because I get to roll something else in And then lastly for my declutters, I have three foundations here and I have the model's own runway foundation and this is like honestly like paint on your face. It is so thick and it's obviously not the right color but I'll show you the texture. I'll show you there. It's just really really thick as you can see it like that. It just it doesn't suit my skin tone and it just is literally so thick. So I'm getting rid of that. I have had it for, I think since 2021, so going on two years. So I was gonna give it away, but I thought, you know what, let's just chuck it because it's not even that good. Next, I have this LA Girl Pro Matte HD High Definition Long Wear Matte Foundation in the shade Warm Sienna. And this was one of my favorite foundations once upon a time, but the texture has completely changed. Look at that, it looks like a dookie and it's i tried it on the other day and it's just so dry and so thick but i also do think that my skin has changed but it's just too full coverage too thick too matte so i'm getting rid of that one it does say that it has a 12 month life shelf life so it's time to go and lastly for this foundation is the all night all night long full coverage foundation by Barry M in the shade Waffle and I again tried to use this the other day and it's just I don't know if you'll be able to see but it's completely split so I try to mix it and that is what it looks like so it has like these weird flecks in it and I don't feel comfortable with putting that on my face or anyone else putting it on their face it still smells exactly the same as it did when I got it, but I don't know, the pigments just separated from the oils in it, I think. So that needs to go in the bin and is pretty disgusting. But yeah, that's everything I have for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.